I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the present time. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Libra, in the recent past, we got the six, well actually that's a will of fortune. It's the card above the word pass. And below that is the six of wands. Now the will of fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times, bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, you just might want to keep your perspective, as that too, like everything else, changes. So it's about living in the now and counting your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But that's even okay. It's about rolling with the changes and thinking positive. Now, it's with the Six of Wands, which is showing victory. If you were anxious about a court proceeding or you wanted to win your lover's heart in the recent past, you would have been victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. You could have been a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or you could have been receiving some type of reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. You could have felt as if you had a lot of support from a lot of people around you. On the other hand, you could have adored someone else. By where adoring them made you feel amazing. So with these two cards paired together, Will of Fortune, clarified by the Six of Wands, is basically saying that in the, in the recent past, you had a lot of you had great success in the connection with someone, if it wasn't a person, it could have been a situation, but this is a love reading, so I'm going to say it was a relationship, and it was um, victorious and successful. It felt, it felt really good, this connection. Um, this connection would have been a type of, well, the Six of Wands kind of has that twin flame type of energy, where those two people, they mirror each other. So you might have been dealing with a twin flame. Uh, six of Wands, you get a lot of passion. Uh, there's a lot of chemistry there and sexual energy. So you had it really, you had it really good. It was very exciting in the recent past with someone or a situation. And because the will is there, you felt like fortune was in your favor. You felt very fortunate. To, to have experienced such a great connection or a situation that was so wonderful and you had so much victory with. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. Towards the end of September, we got this Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles, it can be a card about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit, for just a little bit of excitement. So, it's important to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy, because we all know excitement, it can be created. Now, this Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It brings focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Well, this Knight of Cups, like most, if not all the cups in the tarot, is very optimistic. It's a good card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages, so someone could be trying to reach out to you. Someone wants to say something, someone wants to talk. Actually, these are two, well, I was going to say these are two message cards, but Page of Pentacles can be about a message, and um, this Knight of Cups, it's about the 
good news message, usually with matters of the heart, because it's a cup. And the news is what you, you've been waiting to hear. Now, the Knight of Cups, it tells you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling really charged up, ready for action. Like I said, it's about good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. It's coming in. Somebody's got something to say. Now, with these two cards here together for the present time, towards the end of September, Give me a minute. Sorry about that. I hope it makes it through the rest of the reading. Okay, so, yeah, Page of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Cups for the end of September. Um, well, it's showing that you got someone that's with this page, when you get the word page in the tarot, that's a youth, that's, stu that's a student, that could be someone immature, immature or someone younger than you. Now this person, um, like I said, they want to reach out to you. I'm picking up, um, because the page is about being bored, I'm picking up that you're, you're probably bored with this person. Um, you're not that excited about this person, but they're they're rushing in. You see how the Knight of Cups is charging in with a big with a huge cup in his hand, and it's all about being romantic and sensitive. So you got someone that likes you, Libra. This person is rushing in, offering you love and. Um, you actually, you're not that interested. Yeah, because it's a page of Pentacles is about boredom. So you're not that excited about this person. I don't know if it's because they're younger than you or you think that they're immature because the page, you know, has that youthful type of energy. So let's see what the challenge is. We've got Judgment and the Eight of Wands. Now, judgment, it can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are made too hastily or just too fast. And if you know you're prone to doing such things, this would be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of fundamental spiritual awakening. Now, the Eight of Wands is showing that uh, things may be up in the air for you. When you get this card in a reading, you may be frustrated, tired of waiting. But this card, it's indicating that you have to be patient a while longer. You may have done all that you can do. Now decisions, they must be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But you cannot force it. Because if you try to force things, it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all on the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, now you just have to wait. So for the challenge, judgment, it's clarified by the Eight of Wands. Well, it's basically saying that you're very judgmental about this person. You jump to a lot of conclusions about them. You don't offer second chances. Yeah, you just... Whoever this page of pentacles is, this person that's rushing in to be with you or wanting to talk to you and be romantic and sensitive, you're just very judgmental about them. Very judgmental. And it's causing the connection to be at a make or break. But this person, yeah, they're reaching out to you. They're still trying to reach out to you or they will be. With this Eight of Wands, that means some communication is coming in. Yeah, something something is coming in and it's, it's happening. It's in the air. You're just waiting for it to get to you. Or this person, they, they really want to talk to you. But you're being very judgmental. Yeah, you don't offer forgiveness. And yeah, you're bored with this person or this connection. So, I don't know if this is someone you just met or the person you're dealing with. 
it could actually be the same person that you had victory with from the recent past. Because the recent past could have been a week ago, a month ago, six months ago, or more. So somebody you lo you're losing interest in, you're very judgmental against them, or towards them. This person really likes you, they want to talk. There's communication they want to have with you. They feel it's not happening fast enough. <laughs> okay, so that's a challenge. Let's see what the outcome is. We got this chariot and five of cups. Now the chariot, it's showing a lot of energy, but it's not a free fall. Energy is directed. It's controlled and has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve. And what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now this card it does point to being determined and very ambitious. So it's about getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. So it is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart. And give it your best shot. But you'll have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. Now, it's with, the, it's with this Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? Because the implication is probably really clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilled milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Because with the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment. This man has five cups. Uh, three of them, whatever was inside of them, they spilt on the ground. And But he has two healthy cups in his hands. So is he going to focus on what's spilt or focus on what's still good? But anyway, the outcome, Libra... It looks like your person, this person that's, with, that's really taken a liking to you and want to be with you and want to talk to you. They're going to try to put a rush on things. Yeah, they want some things to happen with you. I'm not talking about later, but yesterday. They want, they want to take things really fast with you. They're tired of waiting. Yeah, I don't know if you put somebody on hold. Or put somebody on the back burner um, because you find them immature, or you just been, you've been passing harsh or really fast, harsh and fast judgments on this person. So the connection doesn't really have a chance. Well, it does, but it's at a make or break. Put it that way. So this person, you're disappointed. The Five of Cups here, they're trying to figure out should they, hmm, they kind of got one foot in and one foot out because they're trying to focus, trying to figure out should they focus on what's still good or should they focus on all the disappointment that they feel that's happening because they're ready, they're ready for you like yesteryear. Yeah, they want things to happen now, not only now, but really fast. So this person is disappointed. You're kind of breaking somebody's heart, Libra. So that's the reading that I have for you. It's a bonus reading for the end of September. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself. Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It will pass and we'll all get through this. So, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. 
I hope to see you at the next reading for Libra. We'll be in about another four or five days. And this will be for the month of October. So once again, I hope to see you. I hope to see you at the reading. And I hope that uh, once again, all of you are doing well. Stay safe and stay strong. Take care.